Three Men Aboard by Pierre Betancourt, translated by Edward Govin. A fly only really becomes interesting when you tell yourself it's a plane and there are three men on board. Then, when it rubs its legs together, it's fueling up. And when it suddenly takes off, only to land right back where it started, it's because the pilot forgot his cap. Indeed, the layover lasts barely a second, and off they go again. There's something quite disorderly about the flight path, shocking at first. You think, those men are a bit insane. I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. It must be a rocky ride in there. Maybe they're trying to cover their tracks so they can land in the same place again, that lucky sun-warmed spot of skin, more or less unchanged whether in Paris or Honolulu. But sometimes the plane circles a star for hours, with sudden bumps when it hits pockets of air. They must be asleep inside, you think. How thrifty they've turned out the lights. At other times, the plane keeps going up and down against the patch of sky it just can't get past, and this is so infuriating that after a while I open the window in exasperation. Farewell, my friends. Bon voyage. But there's no answer. They're already far away. In the sky, at last, they come upon great nets of gluey rigging where they get stuck. The engine spins in desperation, but here comes the old cannibal with its ebon chelicere. The next day, nothing is left of the plane but a shell. The three men are dead.